Hi, this is Merkaba Molly. I'm going to do some messages for this week. This message is timeless, whenever you find it. I did some shuffling already and these cards came out already. I've used a few decks already. So this message is about your heart chakra regarding love relationships. So the first message is about unburdening your worries about your relationship. Or if you're not in a relationship, unburdening the energy that you've still got in your heart regarding past relationships. So very much about forgiveness and self-love and therapy is the word they're telling me now, using therapy to help yourself. And that's really looking at yourself more so that you can develop loving kindness in your heart for yourself. Okay. So they're also asking us to understand that the angels are working for us to bring relationship harmony into the situation on both sides. And this will help you, but also mainly to reduce your worries and stress about the situation. And again, this card flew out of another deck saying there's nothing to worry about. So they really don't want you to worry because that lowers your vibration. And they want you to focus more on your own healing so that you can be more... I'm seeing like grounded but also standing on your own two feet so you're ready to move forward and this is what came out after that have confidence and that literally says have confidence to move forward in your situation for some of us we will need to find our um, own peace in waiting or not so much waiting but being in the in-between which feels uncertain but it's it's a time of incubation, okay? And it's allowing yourself to grow, but also harmonize in a vibrational way, like thinking about your vibrational frequency of your energy body, so that you come into alignment for the new love which is coming through. So we have confirmation here about the heart chakra. And I did a video the other week about the ascension energies and which is very much about opening the heart that's what we're at with the collective ascension so this part of the message is really I feel working on your mind to relax it so that you let this relationship or your new love come in to fruition without holding it back through worrying that it's never gonna happen or you're not good enough or you've still got anger or regret or other heavy emotions that are burdening you and really keeping you stuck. Okay, so then we have another deck that I used, New Love Flew Out and Meditation. So they just want to say, love is coming back into your life. Use this time to reflect upon yourself through meditation. Find your inner peace. Learn about yourself in relationship in terms of what you want to grow into. How you want to advance in that and really contemplating what you want in relationship how you can I really feel like they're saying step up into a new level of harmony in relationship intimate relationship especially so with those cards I will now get some more from the decks um, the other thing I wanted to say was Alone time is actually a really good time to just rest and you may look at it as it's taking too long but <laughs> this just flew out. Victory, okay? It says your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. So really just allow this waiting or in-between time to be a time of nourishment for yourself. Knowing that victory is around the corner, there's no need to rush finding your own pace and I feel I'm just hearing like just to settle into this time without the worry that nothing is happening okay because that worry is actually a block as well okay so go to a more modern angels deck now this one is by an Australian author an artist Wait for a card to fly out. Oops. 
<laughs> this one keeps coming out. Okay, that's it. So this is about psychic ability. And it's saying your intuitive and psychic abilities are strong at present. So you may be getting hints um, through intuitive hits or dreams about the other person or a forthcoming relationship. And this is really, the guides are saying, the angels are saying, trust this information that you're receiving. Um, you may not even notice it coming through and just focus more on these intuitive uh, messages that come through. Sometimes it's just happening when you're going for a walk or having a shower when your mind is not busy. Going back to that card about meditation, this really allows you to receive your intuitive messages because you create space in your mind. So developing your intuition, if you don't feel like you quite got it, use your meditation practice to create space in your mind. Okay, so next card is speak your truth. Sorry, speak your truth and express yourself clearly. And this is for those who need to say something to another person in relationship. Um, it's really an encouragement to speak. <laughs> okay, some people are really stuck because they are not, they don't feel they can speak their truth. So this is really encouraging you to do that. Um, and then speaking clearly, that's something I recommend you learn about because we can use language in ways that create a defensive situation or more anxiety. So you can learn about non-violent communication. There's some videos on YouTube and there's some books around. That would be really helpful if you find it difficult to communicate clearly or if you find that you often get uh, situation where the person on the other side is reacting hugely to the way you're saying things. Okay, so now I'm getting a message about vibration and um, also making sure your, your vibration is crystal clear and the way they're saying that to me, they're making me look at my crystals on the table here. Um, Harmonizing your energy body is really coming into alignment that your thoughts, your emotions, your heart's desires are all in alignment. They're all on the same page and you've got a clear target for what you want, right? And you're setting a clear intention. Then the other aspect is cleaning up your energy body by releasing all the pent up emotions, the heavy emotions, the feelings that you didn't want to feel. And now they're reminding me about nervousness. If you feel nervous about speaking your truth, they're coming back to use meditation as a tool to relax and center. Um, nervousness and anxiety, perhaps, because we had a lot of info, like cards about worrying before. So these are things to work on individually as a way to create a clearer um, intention for your target, which is unconditional love relationship. Okay, being in an unconditional loving state. Now they say you can call on the angels. You just need to ask them for help and they will help you. You can call on specific angels or just go for one in particular. Um, it's not necessary which way you go. Okay, since we're talking about the heart so much, I'm going to use the Romance Angels Oracle. says let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally this can be a big problem in when you're trying to manifest a relationship or you're trying to bring someone back through reconciliation um, control issues can come out in ways that you have a certain idea of how it will unfold and you want it to unfold that way it might be frustration around timing it's not happening when you want it to happen these control issues can create frustration in your vibration and it's, it acts as an energetic block. 
okay? It's also causing anxiety and can, you know, even cause depression when you feel like you're not getting what you want on time. This is allowing you to come into a state of just surrender, allowing the situation to unfold, trusting that the guides, your angels, will help you in this situation, will guide you if you need to do anything. Often you don't. I mean, before we had speak your truth, that is guidance to act, to do some action. Other times for other people, it will be guidance just to rest, to look after themselves and to heal. A time of healing and hibernation. Okay? So, letting go of control. They're showing me that there are steps to take. And it's one step at a time. This is the process. So you just need to let each step come one at a time. And now they're telling me to focus on love freely. So freely focus on love. Allow yourself to focus on love and the expression of love. If you go into fear about this situation or anything, that takes you into a different vibration. And you want to attract love, so you want to be in a love vibration. So you shift your focus to love. One way to do this is to use the tool of gratitude. Finding gratitude for what you have in your life already. And then that changes how you feel in that moment. And that changes your energy vibration. Okay, So these are the laws of attraction. In regards to that timing issue, this is saying it's worth waiting for, okay? Divine timing is at work in your love life, all right? Use this time to work on yourself, to develop yourself and to grow, to evolve consciously. And I'm also hearing know what you want. Know what you want so that's what you get rather than being sort of unspecific about what you want in a relationship. And then finding out later that's not quite what your heart's desires are. heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other going back to speaking your truth and when this time comes around just listen and speak your heart's truth let go of the past let go of any I told you so kind of thoughts <laughs> um, you know let go of the need to be right just listen and understand the other person's emotional situation and what they are offering you. So I feel that some of these people on the other half, like the other side of the relationship, are quite, um, they've been through quite a hard time and they're still quite tender and feeling tender in their heart. Like they've had a lot of pain. So this is, you know, be gentle. I'm just hearing just be very gentle and bring softness to the situation. It's all about peace. And here we have wedding. When I see the wedding card in this day, I don't really say it's going to be specifically a wedding, but more a committed relationship. Okay? And this is, you know, showing you have optimism about the situation. That's part of the uh, law of attraction, they're saying, is to, be, to bring yourself into alignment with this possibility. Start believing it. Be optimistic about it. Okay. All right. So, where will go next?
see if there's any more guidance around this message and then we'll wrap up for the video this week. Okay. If you would like a private session, you can look at my website and I do online, Zoom and FaceTime and WhatsApp, but also in Sydney you can come and see me. I also do past life regression which is very helpful for the um, relationships where you feel like you've known the person in a past life or there's some sort of energy that you can feel and it just feels different and there's some sort of tenacity with this uh, relationship and often people they kind of have an inkling that it's about past life and then when they have the regression they've shown the many lives some of the many lives that they've had with this person and the kind of the nature of the dynamic which makes sense in the context of today so going back to the messages here we have breathe which is relax rest just allow this time to meditate be zen find your inner peace and the never-ending story is just like get out of your mind and back into your heart okay let the mind rest this is very much like people having thinking problems around um, it's never going to happen or it's not going to be enough or you know why is it happening now um, let all that thinking go and just be present be in the present moment use breathing techniques from yoga you can also use yoga practice as a way to calm yourself especially with the nervousness especially with meditating i think this is really key in this message today which i'm sharing is that it is a time to connect with spirit okay it allows you to raise your level of vibration so that you can come into contact with spirit it doesn't happen automatically or like straight away you need to practice you need to practice meditation to get better at it in terms of staying with it not getting disturbed so much it's just a practice okay also I'm hearing like when you're asleep you will also be getting contact from your guides so I would ask questions before you go to sleep and then ask for it, the answer to be in a dream that night Here we have the regeneration card. So regenerating a relationship, bringing it back to life. These are just repeating messages going over and over again <laughs> that everything is going to be okay. And here we have milk and honey, which is like the best of life. Everything is happening and it's going to be beautiful. Okay. So the guides and angels, they really want you to understand that worrying doesn't help. Just find your inner peace know that this is going to turn out okay okay so i might just ask about the people who are manifesting the next relationship what guidance is there for them okay so i'm hearing take account of your feelings so if you've had bottled up feelings before let them out process them so that you can and I'm seeing diary so you can write in a diary so that you can um, really release the past and be able to come into a new relationship okay anything else guys be social get out there and mix especially since we've had many lockdowns and uh, isolation times that this is a time to come back into groups and really mingle um, meet new people find your tribe And while you're kind of waiting, like this is the thing to do while you're in the waiting zone is chopping wood, which is the idea of like, you just keep going. You don't worry about when it's going to happen. 
chopping wood is a great idea when you're in a certain state of like anxiety or uncertainty about what's happening next. Chopping wood could be as simple as like doing your housework, mundane tasks like that, decluttering, things that take your mind off the why, when and how, and then just living life, okay? A lot of this guidance is around the mind because the human mind is so, so controlling. And spirituality teaches us to, you know, let go of the monkey mind through practices so that we can be more present in the moment. And in that presence, we can connect with the divine. When we connect to the divine, then we get the guidance that we need and all the answers. showing me like just um, coming to the, to the feelings of vibrational feelings of joy and happiness okay and they're showing me like dancing and twirling around and just like that kind of ultimate delight use that as your bargaining power <laughs> that's a weird phrase to use but use that as your way to draw in the next relationship use your joy and delight for this life Knowing that you don't need anyone to create that for yourself, but that the other person is going to bring more of that to you in terms of partnership. And this is the guidance for, you know, that chopping wood period of time and like waiting for the next person to come in. It's about flowing, okay? Going with the flow. Allowing life to take its course, but at the same time you've got intention. There's this tiny little arrow there pointing in the direction that you want to go you're pointing the target pointing to the target focused with your clear intention but at the same time you're floating you're just enjoying the present moment okay not worrying about what is happening knowing that it will come through dropped all the cards okay so last card for this reading is the loyal heart which is such a beautiful representation of two people coming into alignment with each other conscious relationship really connecting through the heart chakra with unconditional love and in that state there's no jealousy or insecurity or worries about am i good enough and so on it's all just allowing yourself to look into each other's eyes and be totally present. Seeing each other for what they are and just allowing them to be who they are. So I hope these messages helped you today. Um, please subscribe and if you would like to um, have a session, my website is linked below. And I've got many other videos that you can check out. Namaste. Thank you.